guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is episode 13 of my Sample Saturday. This is a series where I, I'm going through my uh, samples, kind of like a spin-off on a hashtag 365 days of samples, but I do these every two weeks uh, just because I didn't have that many samples. I am very excited because I am coming to the end of all my samples. I never thought I'd see the day <laughs> where I was only having just a handful of samples, but I am getting there. Uh, since the last, during these last two weeks, I was able to finish uh, 10 samples and I have them right here. I'm currently working on two and then I have seven that I didn't get to at all. So I'm going to start with the ones that I finished off. Uh, first, I have here this um, face buff. This is an energizing scrub from Jack Black. I think Jack Black is a men's line, but I had this little sample here. I have used a scrub before, and it's not the same as this one. I remember the other one being very like, like minty and tingly on the face, and this one wasn't like that. I don't know if it's because this sample is old, because I've had my samples for forever, or if it's actually a different product. Uh, but I didn't go online to check if they have different samples. I mean, different types of face scrubs from the Jack Black line. But this one I didn't like, so eh. Then I have this Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I used it up completely. I don't like this uh, eyeshadow primer. It's just, no, I used it because it's in my samples, but I would never purchase that. Then I have, I used this uh, Algenist. Uh, it's a mask. But I tore off like the top part here, so I don't know. Is it blurry? Why is it blurry? I don't know. But it wasn't like an algae mask. Uh, it was moisturizing. It was nice, but I didn't think it was anything special. Then I used up this Kate Somerville uh, goat milk moisturizer. I loved this. Very lightweight, but very moisturizing as well. So I think I'm going to purchase the full size of this during the Sephora VIB sale in November. Then I used up one of my favorites. This is the Chorus uh, Black Pine Active Firming Sleeping Oil. I love this oil. It's one of my favorites. And I did find it online, but it's super expensive. It's like $80. Uh, I don't know if I'll buy it during the VIB sale. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, but I don't know. But I really, 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 really enjoy this. It's, it's an oil, but it's not greasy. It sinks really nice into the skin and then you're able to put on the moisturizer and it lets the moisturizer sink in. There are some oils that you try to put a moisturizer over it and they just kind of sit on top of the oil, but not with the, not, that's not the case with this one. Really enjoyed it. Um, then I have this uh, Soap & Glory Face Soap and Clarity Vitamin C Facial Wash. I didn't care for this, didn't like how it smelled. I didn't think it lathered very well, so I, it's like bleh, I don't care for it. Then I used up this moisturizer from L'Oreal. This is the Golden Balm from the H Perfect Hydra Nutrition line. Uh, it looks like I might have here some more product here, but this is just there. There's nothing coming up. But I enjoyed this. Um, I wasn't too fan of the scent, but it was okay. It was a good moisturizer, so that's all right. Then I have this little sample card from Sephora. This is the Sephora 10 Hour Wear Perfection Foundation. I'm actually wearing this today, and today I used up um, this number 10 combined with number 33 and it made a really nice color match for my face I think it matches me pretty well and I like this actually um, it has good coverage very lightweight it went, went on my face really nicely um, I also used up this shade right here um, shade 25 it was a pretty good sh uh, shade match for me but I have to go in store just to get matched to my perfect shade so, but these samples, I managed to make them work and I like the formula and I would purchase this. And then lastly, uh, for the samples that I used up, I used up two samples of the Glam Glow Volcasmic Matte Glow Moisturizer. I really did enjoy this moisturizer as well. I would consider purchasing it in the future um, once I'm done with my other uh, moisturizers. I have a ton of samples, like deluxe size samples of skincare that I'm going through, but this was very nice and I would definitely purchase it in the future as for the products that I'm working on I'm working on two samples from that L'Oreal age perfecting line and I'm working on the eye balm this is a, an eye cream I'm using a day and night this was these packets had 
very generous amounts of product in here so and for eye cream you guys know that you don't use a lot and then this other one this is a facial oil with sunscreen and this is the sunscreen that I'm using for um, during the day and I really like this um, it's not greasy either I put on my serum and then I put in this uh, oil because it has sunscreen and then I put on my moisturizer on top of the oil and again this is one of these those oils that doesn't interact with your moisturizer um, once you put this in and it sinks in then you can put in your moisturizer and it doesn't it absorbs into your skin it doesn't sit on top of it either so I would consider purchasing this online I tried looking for it at Walgreens and at Ulta like on the apps not I haven't actually gone to the store to look for them but I was looking on their apps and I couldn't find it so I don't know if they'll have it in store or not um, but very very nice and I, I would purchase it in the full size um, at first I was like oh sunscreen and it's an oil so sunscreen tends to be usually already kind of like heavy and the fact that this was an oil was kind of turning me off but I'm really glad that I that this works for me so so those are the two that I am working on currently and for the ones that I haven't touched no surprise there are a bunch of primers that I pulled out the last time but I'm just gonna go through it through them with you guys I have the hourglass veil primer I have the Becca first no first light priming filter I've used the backlight priming filter but not the first light then I have this one from elf the mineral infused face primer Ooh, right here and then this Japanese uh, velvet touch primer then I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I've used this before, I'm not a fan of it. And then I have this little duo from Kat Von D. This is in the Locket Foundation and Primer. You get two samples, one of each, right there. And then one skincare I have that I didn't use was this Tatcha Classic Rice Enzyme Powder. Um, I was working on one from Bosha, like one of those powders. And I used it up so I can go ahead and start using this. Maybe I'll use this today, tonight when I wash my face off. So those are the samples that I didn't get to. The exciting part is that these are all the samples I have left. How crazy is that? I counted them. There's only 15 here. If you guys have been following my series all along, you guys know that I pick 10 items every uh, time I do an episode. But because there's 15 here, I decided to pick 7. So I'm just gonna pick seven items and then the next time that I do my other um, episode, I'll just use the rest that are left. So for this time round, I am picking, okay, this Mineral, Bare Minerals Bare Pro. This uh, powder foundation. Oh, and it's a little sample card. So you get different powders, different colors. Uh, maybe I could use this one as a bronzer for sure. Um, so there's different shades here. Hopefully I can make some of them work. So that's one. Number two is this Too Faced Glitter Glue. I've used a sample of these before and I really did like it. It's going to be nice to use that for my um, loose pigment that I have in my project pen. Then I have this Empty Solar Sciences Evening Facial Repair Serum. I think I've gone through one of these before in this project, but can't remember how I felt about it, so we'll see how that one goes. Then I have this Glam Glow Flash Mud Brightening Treatment. This is the orange one. I've never tried this, so we'll see how this works. How many is that? Four, so three more. I have this sample from Shiseido. This is the ultimate, no, Power Infusing Eye Concentrate. So it's really just a little, here, I'll throw this away. This little thing right here. I've used this before, no. I used this, the facial serum that's kind of like in this line, but I've never used the eye one, so hopefully I like that one. I like the other one, so hopefully this one will be nice too. Then I have this moisturizer from Murad. This is a Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture. I don't think I've ever used the moisturizer from Murad, so we'll see how that goes. How many is that? One two three four five six so the last one is drum roll <laughs> uh this elf illuminating eye cream so it's nice because i just finished that eye cream 
from that other from the L'Oreal so I was having to I was needing to pull out an eye cream and I I did <laughs> so there you go that's the one and these are all the samples that are left guys for the next sample Saturday how crazy is that and then I will have finished and gone through all my samples ah oh, thank God because I'm just glad I'm getting this stuff out of my collection. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you guys have used any of the products that I pulled out, let me know um, so I can kind of expect, so I can kind of know what to expect from them. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video.